Nice to have you here. Um, today I'm presenting the company VoxelChat. So we are a public company so far. Um, we are one of the world leaders in the 3D printing sector. What we offer here at, at VoxelChat is um, on one hand side that we have all the um, intellectual property for engineering and building printers ourselves. So we have six different sizes of printers and we also run them in our service center in Friedberg, which is close to Augsburg or Greater Munich area. So our advantages are um, speed, the size and the different material sets available so far in the 3D printing sector. You can um, pretty much see our printers as smartphones. So the printer is a smartphone, the app you upload on your smartphone are different material sets available. At this stage we have uh, different silicate sands, we have an inorganic process as well as uh, a phenolic process and um, on the other hand side we have as a basis material the plastics. Also it can be printed by, with different uh, binders. So the process we are using is a, an inkjet binding process that means that you have a powder bed of different particular materials and you have a binder which is injected um, in that material uh, via a printing head. So our advantages are also the speed. We can uh, build um, upwards in uh, up to 36 millimeters per hour. So you see a lot of samples of our 3D printed parts. So models and cores and molds here on our booth. Um, the next thing is where we um, see our advantages uh, that the costs of running a printer are very low since we don't need too many additional things. It's a whole, it's a cold process how the parts are printed. Uh, where do we see the future in 3D printing? Uh, the future in 3D printing um, we definitely see in more automatization when it comes to the post processes, uh, speed up the processes itself and also different material sets that will be available um, in the future. Probably size is not a matter anymore. We pr will probably see many more large printing formats in the, in the future and also uh, the costs will definitely um, decrease for printed parts and printers in the future. So far um, the processes to um, build a printer are very complicated and we will probably see standards in the future where we'll see um, many more possibilities also in usage of the products. And in, in the far back we see a sand mold over here which um, is actually the negative mold uh, core included for uh, the casted part which we see in front. This is a cylinder head of an old Ferrari 312P. We cut it up in the middle here to show the surfaces available throughout our printing process. So which is suitable for this kind of uh, casting or, or casted part. On the other hand side we can show very small cores that we also produced, a very small uh, and thin structure we can see here which is also only, can only be done by 3D printing in one part. A um, little bit more on the right we have more stuff that means uh, different material and binders we use so far which are also available at our service center or can run on our machines. Um, for example, here we can see a water jacket core printed in inorganics, which is a completely new system. That means there are no um, harming smells or smokes in the future in a foundry. Okay. So the, the basics is a normal sand and the binder is water glass based. What we want to show here, these are printed parts. From, this is actually um, what we call the column, this model here. Um, this shows pretty much in the lower, the dark part is printed in sand and afterwards infiltrated with epoxy resin. And you can see the more you move upwards, the complexer the structure gets. We come up here and we see the plastic part of it, which goes up to this very complex structure, which can only 
be produced like this in, with a 3D printing process. Um, what we also want to show here that we can print very large parts, um, especially in sand, up to four by two by one meter. So that means eight cubic meters of building volume and they are printed the whole box in between 72 hours. So right now we see our, uh, the smallest printer size available from out from our program. This is the VX200, uh, which has a build space of 300 by 200 by 150 millimeters. That means in volume 9 liters. So uh, this machine is already can run on different material sets as we, we were speaking about at the beginning. And it's kind of the entry machine to industrial 3D printing like the processes, the processes we offer. So as I said, we have six different uh, printer sizes. The next one would be the VX500. Afterwards, you will find the VXC800, which is the, actually the first continuous printer on the, on the world. It doesn't need any uh, help, no box system um, needed. So it can print continuously 24 hours, seven days a week. Um, uh, the next format would be the VX1000, which has already a very large building space of 1060 by 600 by 500 millimeters, followed by the VX2000. This machine was presented during the Euro mold in 2013 in Frankfurt. It uh, has got a building space of 2000 by 1000 by 1000 millimeters. And the largest machine available, especially in our service center, is the VX4000 a building space of 4,000 by 2,000 by 1,000 millimeters. So this was actually um, the basics we could tell you or we could explain about our machines. If you are interested in many more information, please visit our website under www.voxelchat.com. Thank you.